This combat footage is from a group of films of British and Canadian troops landing on the Normandy beaches on D-Day. These films only exist because a small number of cameramen risked their lives to film them. The only hint of the man behind the camera is the quick flash of a name chalked up on a slate board, Sergeant Ian Grant. But it's thanks to him that we have this particular footage of a group of Lord Lovett's Royal Marine Commandos steaming through the very choppy channel towards Sword Beach on June 6th, 1944. Sergeant Grant was part of the Army Film and Photographic Unit set up in the Second World War by the War Office for propaganda training and the historic record. They were a team of serving British Army soldiers armed with a cine camera and a revolver. They were trained at Pinewood Studios before embedding themselves among Allied troops in order to film and take photos right on the front line. Sergeant Grant had served years before at Dunkirk with the Royal Scots, so would have recognised the danger on D-Day was very real. Fewer than a dozen men of the number five section of the AFPU, including Sergeant Grant, filmed troops going ashore at Normandy on D-Day, some going in with the very first wave. They filmed and photographed events unfolding on Sword, Gold and Juno beaches and the array of images that they captured as a team are an extraordinary record. Sergeant Grant later recalled the massive noise of battle as the commandos landed, the sound of rockets, guns firing from Allied ships, machine gun fire from the enemy. He even heard Lord Lovett's personal piper, Bill Millen, playing his bagpipes. And yet the film is mute. Cameramen simply couldn't carry any more bulky equipment. One of the cameramen on the same beach as Sergeant Grant filmed four minutes of striking footage before being seriously injured from a mortar shell, while another of his AFPU colleagues was wounded in the elbow by machine gun fire. In total, 25 members of the Army Film and Photographic Unit were killed in action across the whole of the Second World War. The legacy of that unit's footage still lives on, and now the stories behind the names on the chalkboards which started each reel of film are beginning to be told. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing our archive footage. Just a reminder, please do subscribe to IWM's YouTube channel for more archive films and lots more.